friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis very soft cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome a cotton tipped Janssen bud is used to support the eyeball the patient is under topical anesthesia this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and one more side port is made on the right side of the main incision same distance away with a lens tip knife an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye is applied underneath this air bubble when you apply tripan blue beneath an air bubble staining is very quick within 5 to 10 seconds a good staining occurs this is real time the dye is washed out and note the anti-capsule has been very nicely stained and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber and it, it is also applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and for protection of the epithelial cells and now a ureter forceps is used to do capsulorexis the ureter forceps goes in the tip of the ureter forceps makes a puncture on the anterior capsule raises a capsular tag the capsular tag is held and it is moved anticlockwise remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus an adequate sized rexis is made size of this rexis is about 5.75 millimeter in soft cataracts do a large rexis nuclear management will be easy if you do a large rexis and this rexis which is about 5.75 to 6 millimeter they will contract over a period of time and they will eventually overlap the optics of the intraocular lens the nucleus is mobilized some more visco and then the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber with bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated and then the nucleus is rotated clockwise few times and anticlockwise few times and this will facilitate aspiration of the cortical lens matter after nuclear management and now watch mechanical chop the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus then you come back to irrigation no aspiration come back to irrigation support the nuclear mass and use the chopper to slice the nuclear mass the same way each heminucleus is sliced into fragments the other heminucleus is also supported by the tip in irrigation so when you support the lens mass with the phaco needle in irrigation without using vacuum then it is called mechanical job and now see how easy is management of the nucleus because of the large rexus the whole nuclear mass tilts and comes to the tip of the phaco needle during emulsification of the last piece we have to be extra careful and at this time I ask my assistants to reduce the vacuum so far it was 400 now it is only 200 the flow rate is also reduced and the last piece of nucleus is managed and now the lot of cortical lens matter is there some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and I ask for the 23 gauze Simco for removal of cortex from all areas other than the 
sub incisional area. By this time, my assistant gets time to make the bimanual irrigation aspiration uh, ready. As it is done, most of the cortex has been removed by the Simco, and now the irrigation goes through the right side board. The aspiration from the left and very easily the subincisional cortex is removed. And now a little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done and this is called hydro polish. When you use the fluid jet to clean the lens epithelial cells from the posterior capsule it is called hydro polish. And now this is implantation of a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Apasami Associates. This is super fob. It's a good lens. And now see the trailing haptic is placed in the bag in this way using a Sinsky hook. And now this is cleaning of the visco which was in the lumen of the cartridge and this is amount, some amount of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. We can see some bleeding occurring from uh, 9.30 or 10 o'clock and this is going to bother me for some time. Um, during, during this final lavage, the and I am trying to form the antechamber with a lot of bases so that the intraocular pressure is on the higher side and bleeding stops but it didn't watch this bleeding occurring from 9.30 or 10 o'clock. So I wait for some time about two minutes and then I take the Simco again and hopefully this time the bleeding has stopped. I remove the blood cells and again form the anterior chamber and I notice that this time there is no bleeding occurring. So this is the conclusion of surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you a lot of tips for uh, routine fake emulsification of a soft cataract.